Did your motor stop moving? It might be something stupid. I was talking to my boss today about how much I don't like being an adult and have to do things like mow grass. And he jumped in and said his son just broke his lawnmower, wouldn't drive anymore. Turns out we have the same lawnmower and uh, I just recently had the same problem over here with this thing. He was thinking, you know, I've worked so hard this week, really this entire month, that, uh, that I could probably go home tomorrow early if I wanted to. So he asked me to make a video tonight and he let me go home. No, he didn't say that. Uh, but uh, I know he was thinking it. So this thing's still actually moving, so I gotta try to break it. So I'm going to try driving it, dropping that out a few times, see if the belt drops off. So I guess it doesn't want to break on me, only when I actually want to use the thing. So I'll break it and show you how to fix it. Push it on this battery box from the outsides, and you can pull that up out. Mine's nice and easy because there's a motorcycle battery in it, much lighter. You might need to disconnect the battery. I can just throw it up here because I'm not afraid of electricity. Now this belt probably needs to be replaced. Well, it needs to be replaced. Don't lie to yourself, but we're just going to fix it right now. So first I'm going to break it, take it off the pulley like it has been happening. Now I'm going to start it up because I want it to actually get underneath the pulley like it does on me every time. And you can't yank the thing out of there. Maybe you can, but I spent plenty of time trying, so I came up with a different solution. All right, that did it. So down in here, you can see this belt has come right off the bottom of the pulley and now wedged underneath this side. You try to pull it back, uh, you're not gonna have a fun time. It's not gonna wanna come out from underneath this pulley. So with the clutch pressed in and locked so that I got some tension off of it, I'm gonna pick up on the outside, this right hand side of this belt, and I'm gonna wrap it up around as far as I can. Then, I'm going to put tension on the belt here while I'm holding it in place on the pulley. So release this brake. Now you can see down in here, it's in the groove of this and halfway on. So now what I'm going to do is start it. But if I push that in, it takes the tension back off of that. So I'm going to reach in and pull the cheater switch, which I'll show you. Well, I mean, it's not really a cheater switch. It's the safety switch for the thing, but for me, it's a cheater switch. So I'm going to push that in, and then I'm going to turn the key. And now, it should be on. And you can see it is nestled nicely into that pulley. The other thing that you do want to watch is up here. You've got these ears on either side. You want to make sure that belt is inside those before you do it. If it's on the outside, just pull it over the top, put it on. Now drop your battery box back in. Also, say the belt was actually broken, uh, I would run it up through and put it on that pulley first and then come up to the motor here. And that should do you. If it still won't move after either of those, then it's probably the hydrostat on it. And what I would do at that point is change the oil in it. Find out what oil it takes, I don't know. But typically that is the first thing that I would try in that situation and it usually works. So have fun, enjoy, you're welcome boss.